After a day of senseless violence at Heritage High School, the community is left with many questions as to why a student brought a gun to school. The Newport News School Board is meeting tonight. One member tells Allison Basil he has a few ideas on how the division can improve safety. Feelings of fear and uncertainty spread across the Heritage High School grounds Monday. Kids were distraught. Teachers would say they was under desk. Newport News police say a 15 year old Heritage student faces multiple charges for allegedly shooting two students. School board member John Ely is heartbroken over what happened. We have so many security measures in place, but it's just one of these situations that Unfortunately, it happened. Superintendent Dr. George Parker says there are layers of measures. There are locked doors from the external areas of the building, so you just can't walk in the door. He says there are about 65 security officers across the division, as well as school resource officers. Newport News police say an SRO is assigned to Heritage and was at the scene Monday. School leaders also conduct random searches. Dr. Parker says students know they could look into classrooms, lockers, and cars on any given day. He says officials utilize metal detector wands, but students don't walk through detectors daily. We do not set up airport security um, on a daily basis walking into our schools. However, Ely says that's a procedure he wouldn't mind bringing up to the board. So we do need metal detectors at our school because we want to make sure our kids are safe. He also believes more after school activities could keep students out of trouble. We have to go back to the the blueprint where they used to have little league football teams in the city. Activities to keep these youth busy. Dr. Parker agrees that the community has a part in maximizing student safety. Reflect on the significance of young adults having access to weapons. If we really want to make sure we have safe schools, um, there's an extra layer, a community layer uh, of security. And Dr. Parker tells me once staff and students retrieve their belongings from Heritage, they will start virtual classes. However, he has no start date for that yet. In Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.